Okay, today we're going to cover on infinite many solutions or null solutions. What does that mean and then how the questions look like. So I'm going to explain the concept first and that way you get a pretty good idea of this. So when, when you see a question, infinite solutions means uh, that equation, it's, it's yes for all, any type of the values. Let's say, for example, let's take a simple question. That's a, I, I said a 2x equals 6. Okay. So what could be the x? Slope? 3. 3. It's only true when x is 3. They agree? So if I take a 2 here, it's not be true because 2 times 2 is 4. So for this equation, the solution is 3. It's only one solution. So this one has it has only one solution because for x is three only it happens. But if I take another equation like this, let's say I'm saying two x plus three equal uh, say two x. Okay, let's take this one. So tell me a number that is going to make equal to this. Let's say if I put a one. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5, and then 2 times 1 is 2. 5 and 2 are the same. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't work. x equals to 1 doesn't work. Or if I try, mm, let's say x is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, but 2 times 2 is 4. See, it doesn't matter what value I take, they're not the same. Wait, wouldn't the x, like the 2x and the 2x cancel each That's other right. and then you'd be left with 3, right? Mm -hmm. You end up with the 0 equals to 3. But 0 and 3 are they equal? Uh -huh. No. So 0 and 3 are not equal because, you know, if you, re if you look at it, 3 is different from the 0. So then it is called no solution. Oh. That's so what we're writing. Right mm-hmm. So when you see this type of question, when where you end up with the different numbers on the equal sign at different numbers, then it is a null solution. And sometimes you weigh questions like this. You have three x plus two equal three x plus two. So if I cross that out three x on both sides, I end up with two equals to two. So for this one, it doesn't matter what value I take, they're always true. For example, if I take x is one, three times one is three plus two, that is five. And then this side, three times one is three plus two, that is five. So it is true, yes, works. Same, it doesn't matter what number you take, it always works. So then it is called so infinite solutions. solutions. If you simplify them, it's zero equals zero, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Zero equals zero, or number equals number, and if you see both sides same, then it is infinite solutions. Very simple. So these are the three conditions uh, you will get to know, not just right now, algebra one, algebra two, geometry, calculus. You will see this a lot of questions in the future coming to see. Okay, so these three conditions always need to know. Now let's go ahead and try this question, and then we can figure out how many solutions does it have? Okay. Let's go ahead and give a uh, try on this one, and then I can go over this. Okay, so the first, when you do this question right here, first I'm looking for the equations on each side. I see some like terms. I'm gonna combine the like terms, this and this are the like terms. And uh, in here, this and the negative two are the like terms. So I'm gonna put it together. So that gives me negative 5x plus 4 equal here. I'm going to combine these two. That's 4, negative 5x. Now, once I see this question right away, negative 5x plus 4 and negative 5x plus 4. And further, I don't need to do anything. Because when I see that both the equations are same, and then on my mind, I know it's going to be equal zero equals zero. So I can just write it infinite solutions, infinite solutions, okay? So you don't need to do anything more. So just complete it over there, okay? 
Good. So you don't need to do any stuff further at all because it's, it's really important to see uh, not to do a lot of steps and look at it. Oh yeah, they are both the same. So it's infinite solutions. Good word. Wait, if it was like four x and four, then it would be one, right? Then it or is like... a different. Yes, it has to be same letters and same numbers. That way, you know it's a infinite solutions. Okay. Good. Let's try the next one. It's true. When you see this question, you can tell that's the no solution. Pretty fairly fast. Okay. And uh, in a few minutes later, I'm gonna give you a kind of like a key or the kind of like tip how to find out no solution, one solution, or infinite solutions. Okay. It, it depends on which company you want to go with. Let's say if I want to make only one call or one minute, probably company B makes more sense to me because only just I'm making one minute, so it's only six cents. But if a company A, if I make a call for one minute, I have to pay 36 cents plus three cents, which is 39 cents. So it depends on which one is suitable. But right now we're going to see uh, by, by how many calls makes the same amount of money that we're going to pay. Okay, so let's see, write an equation and let's see if we can figure this out. So for the company A, 36 cents plus, we don't know how many minutes are we going to talk. Let's say minutes are M. Let's use the letter M for them. So I don't know how many minutes, but I need to pay 3 cents per minute. So it's going to be 3M. It should be same when I use the company B, six cents per minute. So that means six N. So now we made an equation out of this question. 36 plus three N is equal six N. Now it makes more sense because it looks like a normal equation. Okay, let's go ahead and complete it. So if you make more than 12 minutes, the company a makes more sense, but if you make it less than 12 minutes, the company B makes more sense. Let's write an equation for this first. Mm. Hey, Avi, you want to give the equation for me? Um, is it like I did 4x, like it's 4 times the 3, so 4 like x, mm -hmm. like times mm -hmm. minus 3. That's right. Equals mm -hmm. 3x. Plus seven. Plus seven. That's it. it. It doesn't matter what letter you put it. Okay. And variables are always variable. Okay. And then that's the reason we call as variables. Mm -hmm. But important thing is you guys are going to use the same variable here. If you put X here, you have to put X too. But if you put a, you know, in the variable means that's the reason we call it as vary. Variable means it can change. It could be any letter. It doesn't matter if it can be X. It can be any letter. So you can write a four, since it is a grade, you can write a Z minus three equals three G plus seven. But don't do a mistake on the math. So that's important. So one of the questions on applications of geometry. So the triangles are shown here, it has the same perimeter. So what could be the value of the X? So the perimeter means you add all the sides. So you add all the sides and make a one equation out of this. And then you add all the sides and make another equation out of this. And then they said they have the same perimeter. So that means that you're going to equalate them. So that's a keyword in this one to solve it. Okay. And then from that, we can bring it x up. Okay, let's try this. Once you combine the like terms and once you get this equation, always think of the which one is the smaller variables. Or the look at the letters and see which one is smaller. So it's a minus three x is a smaller, and subtract three x on the both sides. That way it eliminates ending up x is a negative number. And then you have to do one more step if you do the other way. Okay. Oh, um, so, at the end of class, can I show you my drawing? So it's the drawing that I showed you before, but... So the x value is nine here, okay? So one thing, if this question gives you an SAT or ACT, this is what you're going to do it. Watch, watch it carefully. So that way you guys have some idea how to do these questions when it comes to SAT. So when SAT questions comes like this, you have to add like this. You don't write all the steps. What you do, you see the 1x, 
2x, 3x, that's 3x. And then 3 plus 3 plus 3, that's 9. I'm going to write down that. And then here, 1x, 2x, 4x. And then plus 3 minus 3, 0. And then obviously I can say it from here, x is 9. You see that, how fast we did this question, same question? That's what we need to do in the SATs and ACTs. Okay. Lindsay is paying $1.25 per issue. So since they put it per month, so I can put it month. Okay. So that's $1.25 per month. We're coming to the Kenzie, but she gets that two months free. So how much she's uh, kind of like not paying? Dollar fifty plus dollar fifty. So she's not paying three dollars. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Now, if I look at the first one, dollar fifty per month, it looks good. Dollar fifty per month, it looks good. But taking away two, that doesn't make sense. The reason behind is she's getting two months free, not two dollars free. Does that make sense? If she get a two dollars off, yes, then we can take a two minus off there. So what we can do, she gets two months free, so it makes more sense if I take that two months off. I'm taking out the two months, and then I'm multiplying with the dollar fifty. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's the makes more sense. Okay. So it's a, C is the answer of this one. In question say, so what's the numerical solution of the equation seven times a number? So seven times a number. So let's take that. Seven times a number, and could be a number. Equal three less than five times that number. So three less than five times this number. Five times that number, but three less than. So that's your equation. Okay, and then it's easy. Once you get that writing the word problem into equation, that's a big thing. And once you get that, the rest is pretty much easy. So basically, you have already that one. So I'm going to take away. And first, I'm looking at the letter or the variable. The letter variable is right here. And the smaller, which is 5n, is the smaller. So I'm going to subtract that first. You can take away 7n too. It's not a big deal. You can get the same answer. But you may have to do a little bit more steps. So that's 2n is negative 3. And then divide by 2 on both sides because it's a times. So that gives you negative 1.5. Okay. That's the equations we get. And then we know which equation best represents. And then definitely we can use them. So if I use it, this model right here, 3 packs say $10 and 5 packs is $9 because three packs, $9 less than that. So it makes more sense up there. So obviously it makes much sense up if you take it B. Okay. So as I mentioned, this algebra application questions are important in terms of the SAT. And these are the questions they come in the SAT. That's where they confuse you a little bit. And solving the equation is easy, but writing that equation from the question, that's where the trick part. Okay, so please work on these type of questions so that way it makes you get really good at this.